Hi, it's Lynn from Lenny C Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. I'm coming on to share, I think it's called a book binding card. This is the first one that I've made um, and it's five by seven and it features the Quiet Meadow stamp set. This is a portrait cut five by seven. It would be quite nice to do one that was a landscape. Um, so I've put my thinking cap on. This is thick basic white and the, the designer series paper that I'm using is absolutely beautiful. It's in the new annual catalogue and it's called Perfectly Penciled. So let me just put this to, a side, to the side and before I get on to my card, this is the designer series paper. There's two sheets of each of these and as with all of our designer series paper, they are double sided, but they're beautiful images. So on here, there's you've got sort of really pretty florals. So the, there's the six, the six different designs. Um, Perfect for colouring in, fussy cutting, you name it. I've seen some beautiful cards with this. And then on the back, you've got black and white. And I mean, the beauty with these are you can add any ink so that they can go with any cardstock you've got. And I just love the um, patterns. Let me just run through what I'm using. Because I wanted to make this a five by seven card i've got two pieces of um, thick basic white that measure five by seven i have got some designer series paper now hold on let me just get my trimmer and just on one i'm going to score it at one and a quarter so that's the beauty of our tr trimmer is it's got a scoring blade as well as a cutting blade so that's all we need for that and then the designer series paper and we'll just go down we'll just add that straight away to the piece that we've just scored seems a shame to cover up that pretty design but sure I will be creating some cards with that pretty design Get that straight on and the piece of designer series paper um, measured four and seven eighths by six and three quarters and then I cut a strip and this strip is one and one eighth by, um, and that leaves that there, and that leaves a piece that is five by five eighths. So I'm trying to read my notes and stick this, make sure this sticks on straight. There we go. Now that's on there. Um, and then I've got a bit of white for some extra stamping, but thin basic white. I've got some polished pink, I want to say that, bevies would you? Polished pink and this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter and a piece of white which is three by four. I'm going to do some stamping on that and that. So we'll bring in our extra bit and this time I'm going to use this stamp but I also want to bring in the larger image off here so we'll use memento and I want three of these flowers and we'll be colouring those in with stamping blends and there's different ways that you could do this but I only want part of this stem so we can use our memento I'll show you both ways we can use our memento and then don't worry too much about that bit because that is going to be covered over by the flower so I'm going to have that 
one in the center and we're going to be fussy cutting these out and then sticking them on or we can use our stamp and write markers I'm going to show you on the grid paper and then I'm going to use the memento again so you can do either or you know um, it's a little bit darker I'm just going to clean that off so for those of you that have been to this my channel before hello um, and for anybody new welcome thank you for I'm glad you found me um, I did say in my last video, if you seen it, and I'll leave a link up here, that I wasn't sure whether I was going to be coming on today, because we were going on holiday. But sadly, we've had to cancel because the friends we were going with have tested positive for COVID. So, really disappointed. We were all very disappointed, actually. Um, you know, not something that you would ch naturally choose. Um, I'm going to pop that one there and again I'm not worrying because these flowers will cover them over I think I stamped that one a little bit low it's fine we will just ignore that a little bit low but as I say it's going to be covered over by the flowers and then bring in our stamping blends so we've got polished pink to match the card never really do anything different um, try and keep it as simple as possible for you because I have to try and remember what it was like to be a new stamper and it can be quite intimidating um, all the techniques and all the You know, if you make projects just too intricate. And I guess an easier way of doing this might have been if I wanted to keep this a one level card, I could have stamped my flowers using some masking tape or a post-it note. I haven't got, my I'm waiting for my masking tape to be delivered. Um, and in fact, I delayed my order because we were going away. So, um, that's a silver lining, I guess. Plus, it's Father's Day in the UK, so it means that I get to spend the day with my dad, which is always really lovely. We're going to go out for something to eat. I interrupted myself then I was saying it can be quite intimidating if you're a new stamper if I make or that you know you see these really wild and wonderful cards and you think oh my goodness I couldn't possibly make that but actually I think you you could and I do love teaching I love having my card classes it's the uh, favorite part of my week um, my month sorry I do three classes once a month and I just love teaching tips tricks um, to my regulars and I am very lucky I've got ladies that come back again and again Must be doing something right, hey. I'd love to know, does anybody watching this go to card classes or have classes in their home? 
I'm coming in with the slightly darker polished pink and I'm just going to give a little bit of definition to the leaves. Now the beauty with our stamps is the artists who create these have done a lot of the work for us but I'm just going to follow the design and add a little bit of shading and then I'm going to go over that with the light Chris and Nikki, I know they do watch my videos. I hope you guys are feeling better. Such bad luck and disappointing for them to get ill. This is we've all been looking forward to going on holiday, but the boat company have been brilliant and uh, we can rebook with them which is really, really kind of them. Excuse. We're having a bit of a heat wave here in the south of England. So it's been a bit sunny today. On Saturday, um, and it's been blue skies one minute and then rain the next, but it's still very humid, which is lovely. I'm not going to complain. Definition. Not sure how I'm going to keep this in. Let's speed it up. And this is Granny Apple Green. I've got the dark one. Not for me to worry about having any definition in here.
who likes fussy cutting and who doesn't? Leave me a note in the comments. I actually find, I used to find it quite intimidating, but I like it now. Paint on myself. Blowing a holy out there now. very lucky my craft room looks out onto the garden and it's sort of the craft room come office goes straight out onto the deck so it's really nice I've got French doors so if it's a bit hot and breezy I can actually uh, just open the doors as long as it's not too breezy Actually, if it's too breezy, everything, nothing, if it's, there's lots of bits around, which sometimes I'm a messy crafter or worker. My papers and card have been known to fly off in a gust of wind. So my doors are shut at the moment. And actually... I'm thinking I might get my fan on because it's warm. <laughs> Either that or I'm having a hot flush. I'm that certain age. It's lovely, isn't it? Right. So we want to do the centre of those flowers with the Dark Daffodil Delight. Let's get that pollen in there for our bees. I have to say our garden's attracting a lot of wildlife at the moment, which is rather lovely. And give the flowers a little bit of a zhuzh. I'm going to pop two of these up on dimensionals the two outer ones and I'm kind of just creasing that where the, where the flower is creased rather than having them flat that's another tip from my lovely upline Emma Goddard, total inspiration. There was a stamping up, actually, there was a stamping up event today, which I didn't sign. Oh, I was just going to do one of them, two of them, which I didn't sign up to because we were going away. I could have done that, couldn't I? Never mind. But I'm going to stick that one flat. I'm going to pop that one. Down there, and stick that, pop that there. And on my the first card that I showed you, I used a sentiment from the Quiet Meadows stamp set. But actually, I'm in need of birthday cards, so I am going to use. Do you remember, I, if you didn't see last week's card? I die cut, I 
stamped and heat embossed quite a few happy birthday sentiments and I'm going to use one of those on here so I'm not going to do that quite yet out of the way so that looks fab now so this is going to be a book binding card so I need to stick that bit down so we'll just get our bone folder and give that reinforce that score line before we glue that down I'm going to add some ribbon so I'm going to use the petal uh, the polished pink um, open weave ribbon let's see if I see if I can tie this into a nice bow on camera because you know sometimes that's a bit of a challenge for anyone yeah that's better let's that's done all right. So So Make sure that doesn't go past the score line. I'm just going to pull that taut. Looks better. There we go. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna trim that what waste. And then I'm gonna add some more of this tear and tape because I really want to make sure that this sticks down for sure. Down there. Take that all off. Now, if you're not very um, confident with tear and tape because it's less forgiving than um, the wet glue, you can stick some wet glue over the top and it gives you little bit more flexibility if you want to move things about but my secret for this is to line it up hold it flat line it up and then press that in and as long as you don't move it it is perfectly lined up so that's my base and then I've got a little bit of petal pink now I did start off thinking oh I might do that but actually I'm gonna put it on the wonk just to make it a little bit different so I'm gonna add some glue and I've done my normal I have picked up a glue that is nearly run out and I am going to pop that like that just so that I can position it the way I want it. Put some glue on that back bit. And 
And my aim is to get my stamped panel square. That's the aim anyway. And then I'm going to pop this up on dimensionals. So I've got what's left so I can use that one there. And I think I said last last time I have got some black bone pads. I forgot to get it out again. Pop that on there. Fabulous. Lovely. Um, and then we will, as a final touch, if we can find them, there they are hiding, pop on some little butterflies. There we go. I may put some Wink of Stella on there and I was going to use the Sampin Seal for a change but decided at the last minute to do something else. So those are the, my two cards and the other one I did actually when I was playing around I changed, I did another version um, of this one as you can see it's slightly different because the flowers in are in a bit of, bit of better position um and this is with fresh freesia anyway that's all for now hopefully you will be less intimidated to try this fun fold and i will see you again next week bye for now